Hey Sagittarius, how's it going? It's Ashley from Serendipity Tarot. I hope you all are doing amazing. Sagittarius, this is your general tarot reading for the month of February 2024. And it's for Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. You could be a Sagittarius. Your person, whoever you're thinking about dealing with could be a Sagittarius. So please do take it resonates. Um, feel free to switch to roles. Sag, if you want a personal love reading, you know where to find me. You can go to my website or even my Etsy shop. I do have a Valentine's Day sale going on right now. Um, seven day turnaround. It's a video recorded reading and it includes two questions, okay? Uh, yeah, let's take a look. Let's see what's going on. I have some Oracle cards I'm going to start with today. And we're going to do the spread and clarify and get your messages. All right, so Sag, what is happening here? All messages for Sag. All right, two cards. Like, share, comment, subscribe. I appreciate love and support of my channel and what I do. Okay. Missing you. Missing thinking of you. So there could be someone here that definitely um is missing you craving you thinking about you i feel that page of cups energy they may want to reach out they may want to express themselves some of you guys are going through a breakup there's grief there's loss right there could be some kind of separation does someone initiate a separation and now they miss you and they kind of like want you back and kind of getting that energy um enemy watch your back hmm i don't feel like this is the same person okay I feel like Sagittarius, there could be someone else that you're connected to or someone that is, you know, connected to you in some way. And it feels like they don't have your best. They they, they don't, they're not looking out for you in the end, right? They, they're just, I'm getting the energy of like, you think that they're on your side, but they're not. So there could be an energy of you having to protect yourself, okay? Not open up yourself to certain people. Especially if this is a new person. Some of you guys, you are exploring, you're dating new people. And, you know, Spirit is saying that don't trust everybody, okay? All right, let's take a look. All right, here is the past. Let's put this aside. What is the recent past energy for my Sagittarius out there? You have the Knight of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Ten of Swords. So you could definitely be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Something ended, you know, it looks like there is an energy of something ending prematurely, Ten of Swords, the betrayal, something here that may have been. Um, I'm getting like it took you by surprise, right? Because the Ten of Swords is when you hit rock bottom, everything is ruined, it's not what you thought. Now, there's someone that Sagittarius, I feel like you've been incredibly patient with. Some of you guys, you know, Queen of Pentacles, you wanted something secure long term. You may have been investing in a situation or relationship with someone thinking that it was going to pay off in the end. You know, this Knight of Pentacles is like, I'm going to take my time. I'm going to be patient. I'm going to invest in it. And it feels like with the Ten of Swords, you may have even lost your investment. Like something may not have gone as planned. Okay. Whether there was someone here like an enemy that got in the way. This could be a karmic partner. For some of you guys, a so karmic partner on your person's end that may have led to an ending or a betrayal. Page of Cups, you know, missing you. Yeah, I feel like someone here is sorry for something they may have done if it's related to that Ten of Swords. Someone here could be literally wanting to tell you, Sagittarius, like, you know, I was wrong. I see it now. You know, I miss the morning texts. I miss being able to communicate with you. I feel like someone really wants to express their feelings. And, you know, it's like it's almost like your person's taking fault for something they've done. They may want your forgiveness. Six of Pentacles and a verse and a star. Someone here is hoping, wishing, manifesting you back. The star is that they're optimistic that maybe they can have you back, that maybe you and them can come back together. They do feel like you're checked out. The Six of Pentacles and a verse can also be the energy of your person saying, you know, I'm sorry I didn't give you all of me, my time. I didn't make you the priority. I may have breadcrumbed you. This could be someone that could have been giving their energy effort to someone else and now they're apologetic. Okay, 
there's the energy of the star like I still hope I wish I dream so someone can visualize maybe being with you again this could be an Aquarius in the foundation we have the nine of swords in reverse the five of pentacles the three of pentacles in reverse and the seven of pentacles so yeah I feel like someone may be going through some kind of hardship Five of Pentacles could suggest like family issues, financial issues, health issues, right? There's something here where it feels like your person's like, I, I never expected to be at an all-time low like this. And there could have been something that they've done in the past that put them in this place. You know, there is an energy here where you and your person are not getting along. You don't see things maybe eye to eye, whether it's your values, your morals, your principles. And they feel ultimately like they poorly invested in something here. Like they did not do what they should have done. So if it's related to a third party, I feel like your person made a big mistake. Okay. They are well aware of it. Okay. They are well aware that they made a mistake and there's loss because the nine of swords is here. There's frustration with the five of pentacles. There's loss because of something they've done. So I feel like your person's frustrated with themselves. They're annoyed. They're paranoid. Um, getting like the energy of like, because of a loss, now they're really suffering. Okay. Maybe even suffering in silence, can't eat, can't sleep kind of energy here with the nine of swords. And it could be related to, again, a third party situation Maybe they should have set boundaries and they did not. Now the outcome is a temperance in the verse. That's your energy. Five of swords in the verse and the hierophant. Some of you guys are really having to um, rethink what you want, your values related to commitment. What does commitment look like? Are you still committed to something or someone? Now with the five of swords, there is stress. And some of you guys, you may feel like you want a commitment, you want a marriage, maybe you want to save a marriage, but so much has happened. And it even feels with the five of swords, you're not sure if you can trust this person. You may have felt like they've been dishonest and you, you know, they lied. You don't know if you can trust them and let them in again. You don't know if you can continue on with some kind of commitment because of that. Now the temperance in the verse, it almost makes me feel like, is it too late? Right, part of it could be like this person's coming in with this apology, this sad apology, and it's just too late. Like too much has happened, too much went down, and it's just impossible to kind of, you know, erase that. So let's take a look. Clear messages. We're gonna start off with missing, thinking of you, and watch your back. Like, share, comment, subscribe. If you guys want a Valentine's Day reading, I do have a special available on my Etsy shop. All right. Now, when I clarify, I got the Page of Wands in a verse. Someone is really striving to move in this new direction with you. I think they realize that there's something they may have done. Maybe they let an enemy come into their life. Maybe they let someone get in the way um, of, of you and them. Ultimately, you know, this is someone who's apologetic. I'm sorry. I miss you. And I want to move in this new direction. So someone is creatively trying to figure out what they can do better, how to overcome some kind of a ending, Ten of Swords. What's that about? Yeah, I'm getting karmic relationship. I'm getting like big, big spiritual lessons, karmic lessons, clearing out karmic debt. Um, we have the Queen of Swords here and the Four of Swords of Earth. So someone here, I feel like initiated a separation or a breakup between you and them. I feel like there could have been something that came out. There's two feminine energies here, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Swords. So yeah, it's fair to say that maybe there was someone you were investing in Sagittarius who was also investing in someone else and they kept quiet about it. You know, the Four of Swords, they weren't telling you. Um, There's a lot of maybe stress conflict that came from that situation as well because of that betrayal energy in the world it's like maybe they had to learn a lesson maybe they had to lose you in order to realize you know how important you were to them all right three of pentacles want to come out in reverse for the current energy page of cups six of pentacles and the star the lovers gemini energy and the king of wands in reverse so some of you guys, you stop trying with this person. King of Wands in reverse is like, I'm no longer inspired. I'm no longer giving to this situation. Some of you guys, you stop putting effort into a situation with this person. You stop showing up. You stop caring. Some of you with lovers in reverse, you may have made a decision to cut ties, to have some kind of breakup. 
you know, there's something about like, you know what? I choose me. <laughs> I choose me. Uh, three of Pentacles in verse because we don't stand, you know, we don't see eye to eye. So a lot of you guys are tired of being treated a certain way. Even with an apology, Page of Cups is like your person could be apologizing, but it's almost like not enough. Because the Six of Pentacles in verse, it's like you, you robbed me of this for so long, right? So give me the Nine of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. The death in reverse, the ten of wands, and the two of pentacles. So, yeah, I mean, this could be a Scorpio. There is an ending for sure, and I think your person is trying to put off an ending or a burden, some situation, um, some kind of emotional burden that comes from an ending, right? It feels to me like your person's trying to save something. Two of pentacles is like going back and forth. It's, it's almost like your your person's trying to manage something here on the side or trying to like figure out well what can I do better how can I make this work okay so now with the ten of wands if something has ended with the death card it's almost like your person is like I want to be free of this I want you to consider having me back in your life death in a verse I want to revive this I want to resurrect this I feel left out in the cold I feel alone and someone is stressed anxiety fears of perhaps losing you so yeah, I feel like if your person was juggling, I feel like they, they're they realizing that juggling, uh, <laughs> that wasn't worth it. Three of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Chariot, Ace of Wands in reverse, and the Seven of Swords in reverse. So someone is going to own up, okay? That Seven of Swords is like, I lied, I cheated, I robbed you of this. Um, I shouldn't have. Someone is going to come clean because ultimately they feel like there's been a missed opportunity. Ace of Wands in a verse, they still desire you and they do want a victory with you. They want to accomplish something. They want to be successful. So if there has been a third party, some of you guys, they're releasing a third party. They're letting that go because that's their opportunity. Um, there's an opportunity to win you back. And how can they win you back if they're still involved with someone else? So I do see that energy. And I see like they're realizing that, yeah, they, they poorly invested Seven of Pentacles in verse, you know, what was I thinking? I probably invested. The situation wasn't even worth it. So give me the outcome. Nine of Cups, Three of Swords in verse, and a Fool. There's a lot of healing that has to take place. And I think that that's the biggest thing. I feel like some of you, you could be reconsidering coming back together and staying committed to something or someone. Maybe uh, committing yourself to a marriage or a home or family. But there's healing. And the Three of Swords is telling me that you guys have gone through a serious hurt, heartbreak, right? There's loss, there's grief that comes with the Three of Swords, betrayal. Some of you guys are having to heal from a betrayal. Um, but also by doing something that you you want for yourself. You know, making sure that you're happy at the end of the day. Nine of Cups is your own fulfillment. So a lot of you, it's like, do I want to move forward with something? Is it going to make me happy? Those are some of the questions you're going to begin to ask yourself, Sagittarius. And the full card is taking a risk. So for some of you, you could be committing to something or someone or recommitting to it, but you're having to take a risk. You're having to maybe do something you typically wouldn't do. Maybe you typically don't give people second chances. Maybe you typically don't forgive that easy or trust that easy. But the full card is a, a leap of faith doing something that maybe requires you to step out of your comfort zone. So this could be with an Aries. But ultimately, it's about making yourself happy and doing something that is going to make you happy in the long run, okay? That is what I'm seeing, Sagittarius. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you guys out soon. Have a beautiful weekend ahead. Again, Valentine's Day special is available right now on my Etsy shop if you guys are interested. Seven-day turnaround, two questions included, video recorded. All right, take care.